Are you ready to take your business to the next level but not sure how to do it right? Do you dream of expanding your business but fear the risks and the challenges? Is your business struggling to grow but you just don't know how to overcome the obstacles standing in your way? Hi, I'm Mami N, your Mami Negosyo, and in this video, we will explore how to expand your business the right way. We will follow the inspiring story of Janice, who turned her Longanisa side hustle into a thriving business. But before we proceed, here are the five strategies that we will discuss. First, we evaluate current business operations. Next, we conduct market research. Then we develop a clear expansion plan. Fourth, we secure funding. And fifth, we build a strong team. So let's get started. First, let's talk about strategy number one. Evaluate current business operations. Before you expand, it's crucial to understand what's currently happening in your business. This involves reviewing your sales data, listening to customer feedback, and analyzing your finances. For Janice, who started her Longanisa business as a side hustle to help her family's income, this step was a turning point because this was where we started. Her unique recipe quickly became popular. But as she thought about expanding, she noticed some problems. Her production was inconsistent. Sometimes the sausages were too salty or not cooked properly. And she often faced supply shortages because her ingredient suppliers were unreliable. Janice took several steps to address these problems. She standardized her recipe measurements and cooking processes, ensuring that every batch of longanisa tasted just right. She implemented a quality control system, checking each batch for taste and consistency before selling them. Additionally, she switched to more reliable suppliers who could consistently provide high-quality ingredients. To ensure a steady supply of ingredients, she made long-term agreements with her suppliers. This guaranteed her a steady flow of the necessary ingredients. This careful review and adjustment step was key to making sure that her business was ready to grow. Strategy number two, conduct market research. Understanding your market is key to successful expansion. You need to know what your customers want, who your competitors are, and what challenges you might face. Like many small business owners, Janice felt overwhelmed by the idea of expanding her business. She worried about making mistakes and losing what she had built. But she bravely dove into market research. She began by talking to her loyal customers, asking them what they liked about her longanisa and what new flavors they might be interested in. She also took the time to visit other Longanisa stalls and shops to see what they were offering. She noted their strengths and weaknesses, looking for ways to make her product stand out. Through this process, she discovered that there was a growing demand for new flavors and healthier options like low-fat and organic Longanisa. Now, this information gave her the confidence to move forward, knowing she could offer something unique that her customers wanted. So, you see, it's okay to be a little bit of a marites in a good way for your business. Strategy number three, develop a clear expansion plan. Let me share this quote about planning from one of my mentors, Brian Tracy. Action without planning is the cause of all failure. Action with planning is the cause of all success. Hmm? So, what about planning? You see, it helps you set goals and outline the steps that you need to achieve them. This plan could include specific objectives, a timeline, and a detailed budget for how you'll allocate your resources. For Janice, drafting her expansion plan was both exciting and nerve-wracking. She had always dreamed of seeing her longanisa in more places, but now it felt real. She set a clear goal to open two new outlets within a year. And here's how she broke it down. Step 1, Location Selection Janice researched potential locations for her new outlets. She chose areas with high food traffic and close to where her loyal customers lived. Step 2. Budget planning. She calculated the costs for renting the new spaces, renovating them, and purchasing additional equipment. She also budgeted for initial inventory and marketing expenses. Step 3. Timeline. Janice created a timeline outlining each step of the expansion. She set specific dates for signing leases, completing renovations, and launching grand openings. Step 4. Marketing strategy. She planned a marketing campaign for each new outlet, including social media promotions, local advertising, and special opening events to attract customers. And by breaking down her expansion into these detailed steps, Janice was able to stay focused and motivated. It turned her dream of a bigger business into a concrete plan with clear milestones. Got that? 
This structured approach can make all the difference in turning your expansion dreams into a successful reality. Let's carry on to strategy number four, secure funding. Now, expanding your business usually needs extra money. To get this, you might need to explore options like loans, investors, or grants. It's important to prepare clear financial projections to show how you plan to use and repay the funds. So back to Janice's story, Janice faced a big challenge because she needed money. First, she worked on her financial projections, which are detailed forecasts of how much money she would need and how she planned to use them. She showed this plan to banks and applied for a small business loan. Her projections included costs like new equipment, renovations, and marketing for the new outlets. Janice also sought support from a local investors. She prepared a pitch showing her business's success so far, her detailed expansion plan, and how the investor could benefit. The investor was impressed by Janice's preparation and passion. He agreed to support her with the funds that she needed. So, remember, finding the right funding and presenting a solid plan can be the key to making your expansion dreams come true. So lastly, let's now talk about strategy number five, which is build a strong team. To maintain quality and consistency, you need to hire skilled staff and provide them with thorough training. When Janice was ready to open her new outlets, she felt a mix of excitement and nervousness. She knew that hiring the right people was essential to preserving her special quality of her longanisa. And so Janice carefully selected staff who were not only skilled but also shared her enthusiasm for the business. She invested time and effort into training them thoroughly. During the training, she emphasized the importance of following her recipe and upholding the values that made her longanisa so popular. She also made sure to communicate clearly about the standard she expected from the way the longanisa was made to how the customers were treated. By focusing on hiring and training the right people, Janice was able to expand her business confidently, knowing that her team was ready to uphold the high standards that she had set. So, in summary, Janice's story shows that successful business expansion requires careful planning, knowing your market, securing the right funding, and building a strong team. By following these five strategies, you can grow your business the right way. And if you're ready to learn more and to take your business to the next level, remember to subscribe to my newsletter and my starter kit at mamminegosyo.com for more insights and tips. Thank you for joining me today. This is Mami and your Mami Negosyo saying, Be Business Minded, Pinoy! Music